We got WDOW back up in this thing once again. We got these guys right here. We're talking about Shador Sanders and Travis Hunter. How good can they be on that Power 5 level in the Pac-12? And me personally, I think they could do exactly what they did at Jackson State, if not even more. My predictions for uh, Travis Hunter, six to eight touchdowns. That looked like that could be more with the chemistry and the connection that these guys have. They're on the same page constantly. They know what they want. Uh, Shador is going to go to Travis. He wants the completion. Travis wants the ball. Um, and any quarterback knows we're going to go to the guy who's most likely to catch the ball uh, every time. And speaking of Coach Prime saying that um, he wants to change this up, Skip, he wants to have a whole different football team. This is a whole team, different team than you would be seeing in the fall. It's because of, sorry to point him out, but guys like that at the cornerback position, you won't be at cornerback for Coach Prime getting burned like that constantly. I'm sorry. Are you getting burned like that on the first play of the game? Come on, man. Come on, man. You got to do something. Get your hand on him or something. You just running with him, and then you're getting burned. Bam. So if he faced any type of corners like that, which I doubt at USC and Oregon and, and Utah and so on. Uh, but if he face somebody like that, then that's what that's what the result going to be. I think that six to eight touchdown range is good for them. Jador is going to have a lights out season. I think he will be in the Heisman candidate race. I think him and Caleb Williams will be right there neck and neck as far as stats go. Uh, that's just my opinion. I think Shador Sanders is that guy at the quarterback position. And Travis Hunter is that guy at the wide receiver position. Guy had a touchdown the first play of the game. He had a touchdown later on on, uh, on an out route, seven route, looked like. Shador put it right on the money. Uh, he's not afraid to uh, seek out that contact. Here he is again. Boom, big play right there. Luckily, he got tackled on the back end. That would have been a touchdown too. Travis Hunter, Shador Sanders, how good can they be on the power five level? as good as they were at Jackson State. Football is football, and these guys have the chemistry, and especially with other players around them, like uh, Zico at the tight end, Dylan Edwards making plays at running back, Jimmy Horn Jr. on the other side of Travis Hunter. Whew, that's going to be uh, some, some big-time players that they have. Lamonius Craig, uh, the other wide receivers. So those three right now, I think, are the top three receivers. Uh, shout out to Estes. He, he's been making plays. Shador can make plays with his feet, as you can see right here. But uh, those three receivers, Lamonius Craig, Jimmy Horn Jr., and uh, Travis Hunter are going to be key for Shador. That offensive line going to have to step up so he doesn't get sacks like these. It's going to be a great uh, uh, opportunity. I'm, I'm not going to just come, jump out there and say it's going to be a great season for them. They're going to do this. Y'all better watch out for them. Nah, they got a lot of improvement to do. If you look at uh, USC's Pro Day, uh, Alabama Pro Day, Auburn Pro Day, and, and compare it to these guys, maybe it's the numbers not on the jersey that makes them look so small. Maybe it's that. Maybe if they had the numbers on the jersey, it'll look, they'll look a little bit bigger. But for now, they look like a, a little bit undersized at right some, some position. Shout out to uh, AD Rick George out there doing this thing. But they look undersized to me at some positions. So I, I know that coach is going to want to improve that coming into uh, the fall. He want to have those big bodies up front. You can't compete in the Pac-12 or anywhere, especially with those big Usos up front, man. You're not going to compete. You're not going to compete with them with just anybody up front. So you're going to have to go into that portal hard. What I'm going to do, I will be sharing. Coming back on the next uh, couple segments, we got a couple guys in the portal that are that have been eyed by the Colorado Buffs. We're going to talk about them. These guys are ready. They're ready to go. These three right here are ready to go. Travis Hunter, Shador Sanders, Lamonius Craig. Those are the, those are going to be the three top targets uh, in the spring game and going into the fall. But those three are going to be key top three receivers and Zeke at the tight end. They're going to have the most targets and the most receptions, I think, from Shador Sanders in the spring game. And if nobody else was to come, those would be the guys that he can go into battle with in the fall. And I don't think it will be uh, any type of drop-off or any type of slacking. Those three guys can compete in, in the Pac-12. In any conference, I think, they can compete. So let me know what you think. Leave a like, subscribe, comment, all the good stuff. We're about to see. Yeah.